Hey guys, this is Carly with John 32 and I want to do a quick a video of encouragement for my fellow Trumpsters, Americans, and of course my siblings in Christ. So the Lord gave me a dream and a message uh, regarding Mr. Trump this past week that I would love to share with all of you. And I just want you guys to know that Trump's biggest endorsement is not going to be the GOP but it's going to be the G-O-D, okay, God. So on May 1st, the Lord gave me this dream, uh, and the dream was where I saw Mr. Trump at the convention. He was by himself. There were people uh, on the floor, like, on, you know, standing on the floor, the center floor of the convention, but many of the rows on the sides of the convention were empty, and it kind of felt like the GOP stood him up. So then I saw Mr. Trump, and he also noticed it too. He was kind of surprised in the very beginning, but he shook it off so quickly and then he just uh, approached it so confidently with an I don't need them attitude and he received the nomination. So I felt that after I woke up that the Lord was telling me to share with all of you that we are not supposed to trust the GOP whatsoever whether it's now or whether it's later and that we must continue to pray and continue to vote okay here's the message that the lord gave me back on fr this this coming from this past friday two days ago he said trump's biggest endorsement is not going to be the gop but it's going to be the god and i'll repeat it's god's endorsement is all that matters for mr trump and for this nation okay the truth of the matter is, there are a lot of truth and spirit believers who are hearing from the Lord prophetically, and many of us, thousands, hundreds of people now, that you know God has chosen Mr. Donald J. Trump for a time such as this, and he ha and has chosen him to be our next president for America. So all I can say is the following: See, mankind, we're not in control of anything. God is in control, and His name is Yahweh, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. And what He has ordained, no man, no woman, no devil from hell can stop it. All right? I want to remind you all that God is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end, and He will have this way, and nothing can put a damper on His plans. Okay? So I can all, all I can say is the following. I'm going to give you some scripture as a brief reminder that the Lord Jesus Christ is the one who's in charge because He changes times and seasons. He opposes kings and raises up others. He gives wise, wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the discerning. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. The Lord does whatever pleases Him in the heavens and on the earth, in the seas and all the depths. Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it's the Lord's purpose that prevails. The one enthroned in heaven laughs, the Lord scoffs at them. Uh, you know, it's funny, I, you know, when I watch the news, so many people are explaining this phenomenon, what's going on, what's going on, you know, his polls keep rising. You want to know the truth? Here's the truth. It's because God's hand is on him. And the word of God says that God is for us and not against us. And the word of God says that those who are anointed, okay, who are, have been chosen, God will protect them and no weapon from against them shall prosper. And every time they come against them, the Lord Jesus will rebuke. So there you go. You want That's the answer for the phenomenon you're seeing. Our nation is waking up to the truth, okay? And God has chosen Donald J. Trump to continue speaking truth and to expose the darkness out there. And all I can say is this, because the Lord, because the Lord Jesus has chosen Mr. Donald J. Trump, here's some scripture to those that come against him. Do not touch my anointed ones, do my prophets no harm. But if it is from God, you will not be able to stop these men. You will only find yourself yourselves fighting against God. Here's another scripture, and this is a warning to those who are living in wickedness. It could be whether it's in, po in the politics, lobbyists, media, church. It could be any industry because God is not a respecter of persons. So here's the scripture. If you are living in wickedness, and on top of that, you come against God's plans for America, Israel, and Mr. Trump, Listen to the word of the Lord. But the Lord laughs at the wicked, for he knows their day is coming. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. So, folks, join me in prayer as, I, we, as we lift up Mr. Donald J. Trump uh, to the Lord Jesus Christ. God, we pray that you increase the protection, the anointing, the favor, and the blessing over Mr. Trump, his family, and his inner circles. We pray that you remove every hindrance and surround them with people that fear you, Lord, and are in agreement and alignment with the plans that you have for America and for Israel and for the rest of the world through your servant, Donald J. Trump. Give Donald your heart, Lord God. 
I give him the heart of David, a man after your own heart. Give Donald the wisdom and the discernment of King Solomon so he can govern your people. Give Donald, Lord God, the faith of Abraham so he will not lean on his own understanding, but he will trust you in all his paths, Lord God, to you, Lord Jesus. Give Donald the strength, the power, the authority, the truth of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit to fulfill the calling that you have for his life for such a time as this. Anoint his lips, Lord God, with your Holy Spirit and circumcise his heart with your word so that he will forever be cemented on your truth, which is your Bible and spirit throughout every decision he comes across, including those that will land on his desk in the Oval Office. Lord Jesus, so many of your children are praying that you continue to expose the darkness, that you continue to, to vindicate the wrongfully accused. Oh Lord, judge the wicked and let your scales of justice prevail over this land because you, Lord Jesus, you are the Supreme Court judge of this nation as well as on earth. Lord Jesus, we pray that you continue to bulldoze your way and cleanse and purify our schools, our institutions, our governments, our workplaces, our communities and our churches in Jesus' name. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you tear down the those spiritual walls of Jericho, tear down those temples of Baal, and Lord God, we pray that you flick off the corrupt, the demonic spirits of perversion, per perdition, uh, paganism, Freemasonry, and corruption off this land in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord God, that, that you heal her, forgive America, heal her, restore her, make her brand new, Lord God, and make America great again, one nation under God. Lord, we pray and we thank you, Lord, for your love, mercy, and grace that you bestow upon so many of your people, all of your children, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God, for speaking prophetically to so many of your children in this hour and that in, in which you have told many of us that you have chosen Donald J. Trump as our next president. God, we thank you in advance for what you're going to do for America, what you're going to do for Israel and around the world. And we are ready for revival so your name will be glorified again. So, folks, be encouraged. Pray relentlessly and remember God's endorsement, G-O-D's endorsement, God's endorsement is the only one that Trump has and that we all need and nothing else matters. So take care, God bless, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.